This hall has gone downhill now. But not least, as you guys can imagine, my gallon, which is no longer a gallon because half of the gallon is right here and actually in my tap room. So that's lovely. Hey, Farm Fan, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. So I'm so excited for today's video because as you guys can see, it is a tack haul and not just any tack haul. This is everything to fill our new tack room, which we're in right now. And hopefully in one of the next couple barn video updates, we'll be tackling the inside of this tack room, air conditioning it, insulating it, putting walls and decorating it and getting it set up with all of our new feed buckets and all of our accessories and all the stuff in today's haul. So I've never done a haul before. So if I do it wrong, sorry. But I want to show you guys everything that I'm going to be putting in my tack room. And this goes from anywhere from Horse health, grooming, and all other supplies that you guys will see in these boxes. So I have five boxes, and I want to thank Coral for sending me most of this stuff. So Coral has all the horse essentials from TAC, equipment, health, medical, anything for a horse, they have it on there. And they have my favorite brands at really good prices. They seriously, they beat other people's prices. Like I said, they actually sent me most of this because I still went on and I still purchased a bunch more because I just couldn't find their prices being beat anywhere else. So, with that being said, all of this is from CoralShop.com, and you guys, they actually gave me a 15% off coupon to give you guys, so I'm going to leave the coupon code on the screen and also my description down below. And one last thing before we actually get into the haul is that they're actually doing a $1,000 giveaway, so if you guys want to be a part of that, go ahead and look at all the giveaway details in my description down below because there's some really awesome stuff on there. Without further ado, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are excited to see what's in all of these boxes. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of these barn update videos, us filling our tack room with all of these things, and of course, have a chance to be my next post notification shout out. All right, you guys, let's get into opening these boxes because I can't wait any longer. All right, you guys, so I guess I'm just gonna randomly just start with this box here since I can kind of see what's in it. And they only put one thing in this box. So this is a gallon of Ultra Shield, and this is fly spray. I got this Ultra Shield Red, which I've never used like the red, I'm not sure exactly what it um, means, but it just says kills and repels biting and nuisance flies, gnats, and mosquitoes, contains coat conditioner, stays active uh, for seven days. Oh, so I think the red says all weather repellency. So that's probably good for us right now because we will be uh, super hot weather, sweating, and then the next minute it will be downpouring rain. So that's really good so that the fly spray actually stays on. So we had to get a gallon of this. I use all types of different brands of fly spray, but this is just one that I picked. So that's the first item. I don't think there's anything else left in this box. Nope. Next box. So hopefully there's more than one thing in this box because that was a very uneventful box. Oh my gosh, there really is. So we're gonna take all this stuff in here out. Look at all the stuff in there. Oh my gosh, this is a fun box. So there's a ton of stuff in here. And this is more of like on the first aid. Um, of you know, my stuff that I got. So this is super fun. So I've got two swats. So what basically this is, this is also fly repellent, but this is ointment. And I got it in the clear one. You can also get it in pink, so you can kind of see where it goes, but I just got it in clear. I got two of them because we use these like crazy. We live in Florida and we have flies and insects and everything that you can imagine like crazy, especially during the summer. So we use this stuff like crazy. Like I said, this company has all your name brands, so Super cool, I got two swats. And then I got Mane and Tail Detangler. We have one of these somewhere, but like I've said in previous videos, and why we did this whole new tack and supply haul is because I don't know where anything went from the old house to the new house. So this is somewhere, maybe we'll have to eventually, but I need a new detangler. And then this stuff I got is um, by the brand Farnam, and it's Vetrolin Green Spot Out. So I've never actually heard of this. Mike and I were just talking about this the other day. But basically, it's like a spray, waterless shampoo type of thing. I don't know. I've never actually used this, but it says it's a dry, clean shampoo. So basically, what I just explained, spray on, removes urine and manure stains easily, helps remove wet and dry sweat stains, perfect for cold weather or when there's no time for bathing. So I thought it'd be really nice to get this. I don't have any white horses, so we don't typically see like super big stains on them, but I still thought it'd be fun to have this so that if I didn't have time to bathe them or something like this and wanted to get them clean before we went on a ride or something like that, I thought this would be fun to have. Next up, there's so many things in this box. Then we have this high gloss hair polish. So this is also by Manion Tail. So this prevents coat staining and repels dust. I've never used this. I have used um, a different shine by Cowboy Magic and I really like that one, but I just got this one just to try it. So 
that's another thing that we got for grooming. I'm gonna see if I can find any more grooming stuff in here. Okay, so then I got a conditioner, a mean and tail conditioner. So you guys saw me use this in my last um, makeover videos for cash and trigger. So we definitely need this. So I got conditioner. I did get shampoo too. I gotta find where that is because it's not in this box, I don't think. Okay, so I don't think there's any more like grooming, like bathing supplies in this box, but we're gonna go back to more of like first aid stuff. So I got this Excalibur. So I guess you could maybe say this is like grooming-ish, but I also would say it's like first aid because it is a sheath cleaner. So basically it's just a gentle cleanser to soften, loosen, and remove accumulated body oils, dirt, and debris. So we got this. This is really helpful to have. Um, it's just one of those horse things. So we got that. Next up we got these Epsom salts. So we go through these like crazy. Lays is actually really prone to abscesses. So we use these. I swear by this Epsom salt. We actually have like normal Epsom salt too that we will soak them in if we need it or anything like that. But we use these like crazy. So I got two because it just makes sense. Just like the swat, we had to get two because we use those more often than the other things. So moving on, I got some Wonder Dust. So this is wound powder for horses. So this is wound powder and basically you can put this on wounds and it also works as like a blood stopping powder. So we got this. I don't use this often, but I do like having this. So got that. So we're kind of getting a little slim inside this box here, but there's more boxes. So then the next thing that I got is by the brand Corona. This is a multi-purpose ointment. So I've had this in the little jar, but we went ahead and got this in the big jar basically. Um, it's just for minor cuts, sores, burns, and dry skin. So I've used this a couple times. Basically, I almost want to say it's like antibiotic or like first aid cream, like horse version. You probably could compare this to normal antibiotic cream, but I got this brand. So moving on from that, then I just got a liniment. So there's so many of these and so many different brands. I've just used the Absorbing brand before, so I got this. I have this in other like knockoff brands as well too, but I just got this one. It's for sore muscle and joint pain relief. So basically it's topical, it's long lasting, soothing, warmth, relief, joint stiffness, and swelling. So, and this is in Spearmint Herbal Gel. So this is almost like, I guess we compare it to like Icy Hot maybe. So it just cools down those muscles, helps for swelling and soreness. So I got that. So the next product that I got is by the brand Keratex. I've heard a lot about this brand, but I've never used this brand or this product before. So it's called Mud Shield Powder. I've never really heard of this, but when I started to read about it, it says, for legs that suffer in wet, muddy conditions, a unique waterproofing powder which protects the, which protects the horse's legs against mud and water. Simply puff onto clean, dry legs and rub into skin. So this is for external use. It almost kind of reminds me of baby powder because of the little lid. But with this new property, we tend to flood and hold water more than the other property. And my horse's feet don't do really well um, in a lot of like wet conditions. And we're noticing that the water is like coming up pretty high on their legs. So we wanted to start using this. If you guys have used this before, let me know in the comments if you think it works or not. I just have never used it before. And then I've got two of my more favorite products because I absolutely love this stuff. I love Vetrisin, seriously. I use this on all of my animals. If you guys saw, this is one of the things that I use as soon as our chicken got attacked by a coyote. I don't know why, sometimes I swear this is just water, but I don't know anything that's really in it, but it works. So I always just think it's like magical water. So this one's antimicrobial hydrogel relieves itch, pain, and protects skin to help healing, wounds, cuts, sores, and skin irritations. And then this one's just same thing, wound and skin care, cuts, abrasion, sores. I'm not really sure again, like what the difference is, but I'm not really knowledgeable on it, so. Um, they probably have a difference, but I use both of them. I bought both of them. Mistakenly, I bought this one before and it worked just fine as well. So I got them both because I love this stuff. I really swear by this stuff. Anytime my horses or any of my animals, actually dogs, cats, they get cuts, the first thing I do is clean it out with this. This is, to me, is like peroxide for humans, but for animals. So when we get a cut, I would go normally to like peroxide, but I go right to this with any of my animals that they get a cut just to clean it out. That is the last of this box. Oh wait, no, one more thing, it was so little. Thrush Buster, I almost lost it in there, little guy. So I actually use so many different things for thrush because we live in Florida, we get really wet here. So there's so many different things that my farrier has exposed us to. I actually use more so, it's called Tomorrow Dry Cow. It's actually for like cow mastitis, but we use it for thrush. But I did just get this Thrush Buster just to have because I have used it before, but there is other things that you can use to thrush. This is just one of them. So now that's all that's left in this box. So now we have three boxes left. They're still pretty big. So I'm not gonna go to the two big ones yet. I'm gonna go to this guy. It seems pretty light. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so <laughs> more 
health stuff. So like I said, I really like the brand Vetrosin. I've never used this one. This one's um, the eye wash, but I actually wanted to get um, Clear Eyes, which is by, I think Farnia, I don't remember, or maybe not. But anyways, I use that one mostly, but they didn't have it, I didn't think, or maybe it was out of stock. So I just got this one because I really like an eye wash because if the horses get hay in their eyes or something like that. I take eye injuries pretty serious, so the first thing I like to do is flush their eyes. So I've never used this one, but it was Vectrosin, so I thought it would work really great. So I just got this. And then I guess you can never have enough that wrap. But I did get a bunch of different colors for the horses and actually any other animal and myself because sometimes we use this. So a bunch of that wrap, I got like five rolls. And then next up, which this is just like in general because we won't use these forever because they're wormers. So I just got four wormers because the price was like really competitive. So I got two sets of different wormers. Because horses, you have to always like interchange their wormers every time that you worm them. So I just got this one and then I got this one. So four each horse obviously in two times. So basically this will last this one worming session and then a second warming session. And then there's actually a couple grooming things in here. So I got another slick and easy horse grooming block. Um, I have one of these and it's almost gone. So I got another one of these. And then I actually got this, it's called Strip Hair. Gentle Groomer, the original. Multi-purpose body coat and skin care. So it was between this one and the other one that we have, the Slick Easy, I think it's called. It has like the wooden block and then, so anyways, I have one of those already but it's gotten kind of rusted, so I was gonna get a new one, but then I saw this one, and I really wanted to try this out. So this is basically like the picture. I don't know how it actually works, but it's a pretty cool box. Like, there's a magnet in this box. That's cool. This is actually really cool packaging. I don't know why I'm so excited about this packaging, but basically open one side, it says groom shampoo, shine, slick, shed, and massage. So I did see that when I was buying this online, like they were using it on a horse during the bath and then also like dry, so I thought that was cool. It says the Gentle Groomer award winning made to last a lifetime intended for year round daily grooming. So I don't know how to use this guys. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna watch a YouTube video on it later, but it just seems it's pretty flexible. So I don't know how to use it, but I'm excited to try it. So we got this. <laughs> Now that's it for this box. Now we're down to the last two boxes. We have gotten so much stuff, like, oh my gosh. And there's still two boxes left, and they're like big boxes. So over here, box. So much stuff in, oh my gosh. This is more of like the barn supplies. We got some stuff for the stalls in the barn. So what are these again? Oh, so these are our wall brackets. So like this, you would put the bucket on, and then the bucket goes through here. And we wanted to get like heavy duty ones because Cash loves to flip his buckets. If you guys have watched my feeding routine, you know that. So I've got two of these for each stall, if I remember, because one for food, one for water, or if we do like a double water thing, I don't know, feed on the ground. I don't remember exactly what our plan is, but there should be. I don't know if I got enough for four stalls or five stalls, but we'll see. So this would be two stalls. I think I only did. Three stalls. Okay, I only did four stalls, probably because I ordered this before I knew you were gonna do the fifth stall. We have at least enough for four stalls, which will be fine. I'll just order two more. But they look like this. So we've got a bunch of these. And then, oh, here's another like for my first aid. This is horse quencher. So I just got a couple bags of these. I thought I got three. Maybe I did. Oh, there's another one. Maybe I got another one. I don't know. Whatever. But there's at least three of them. So I used to use on Trigger when I first got him because he had a hard time like drinking. Well, not a hard time. He just wouldn't do it all the time. He didn't drink much water. So you basically you put this in the water and it encourages them to drink the water. Almost I think makes it like a Gatorade or something like that. Um, just if I'm referencing to something. So we got a couple packs of these just in case we needed them. Then we got some fun stuff. Of course, I had to give my boy some treats. <laughs> and not just one bag of treats. We had to get two bag of treats. So we got this cute little, they're called herbals, no molasses, no added sugars, all natural ingredients, horse and pony treats, little guys right there, super cute. So I got these for the horses. And then I got these apple flavor nuggets by Mana Pro. I've gotten these a bunch of times, so I love the little shapes of them, they're perfect size. So got these, we got two bags of treats, it's really getting hot. And then this next thing I got is a groomer, and I never use this either, but I thought the name was cool, so of course I had to buy it. It's called the Tiger's Tongue. It's a horse groomer for dirty horses. Just for the record, we are wiping it away. No one will know you were dirty today. All of your stains are now expunged. Even your saddle marks will show no grunge. This is a poem. So it's vacuum packed and expands. So it's like I would say like a sponge, but a very like 
Brillo patty feeling sponge. So that'll be interesting. I just never used, never even heard of it. So I got that. There's only a couple more things in this. I got four brand new um, fly masks because we really needed them. So I think I got two in this hunter green color. Yes, hunter green color. And then two in black. And if you see, they are like tighter on their head. I'm trying a different method because my horses always get them off like the Velcro ones. So they're pretty much tighter on their head. There is even the ears on them. And then they have these bug eye looking mesh um, covers over the eyes. So I thought they were cute. So we definitely need new fly masks because my horses leave them on the pasture and stuff and they get ruined. So we got those. And then I got this, which I don't know why I really got it, but because I already have one, but it's a new lunge line. I really didn't need it, but I got it. So it looks really nice. So I just got it. Lunge line. Okay. Oh yes, I knew I got another horse quencher. So here's another one in there. And then the last thing in this box, I'm actually really excited for. I've never tried it, but when I read it, I was like, okay, got to try this. Thought it was super cool. So it's a flying insect kill system. Works automatically 24 hours a day. So I was reading up on it and supposedly it's supposed to spray like every 15 minutes. So if you guys have ever seen those like Febreze things that like are in bathrooms and they just randomly go and they spray. So basically the same thing. And I think I read on here that it covers like 6,000 cubic feet or something like that. I could be wrong, but I thought this was really cool. And there's like new dispensers for it. And this one's just a metered insecticide fly spray, but they actually had one that said mosquitoes and flies. So I tried to get that one, but they were all sold out. But anyways, so this is cool. And I'm really hoping that it works because it does, I might need another one. It literally looks like the Febreze ones that you put in the bathrooms. So just like that. And then I would imagine, There's a button down here. What am I doing? Here we go. Oh, okay, so here's the screws. And then I guess you would just put it in here. Oh, there's a battery you can put down in here. And then you put this bad boy in up here. And then you're ready to rock and roll. And every 15 minutes, you have fly spray. It's like you practically have like a fly spraying system, but you don't. So last but not least, this last box, there's actually something spilling in it. So it rained really hard today, and the FedEx people put the boxes, look at that in these bags, but clearly something didn't work because the rain just soaked up this box and something spilled. So now I'm sad, but we're gonna see what it is. I'm really thinking that it's the horse shampoo <laughs> and I got a gallon of it, so. Okay, well let's get into this last box because we need to get into it quick because something's broken in here and we need to buy it. Okay. So here we go, really quickly. Okay, so I got these for the tack room and they are just like halter bridle hooks. So let's unwrap one. So basically they'll be screwed to the wall and then like I can put like my bridle or my halter on here and then my lead rope or my reins on the bottom one. So I think I got like five or six of these. I don't know, here, let's count. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to get wet. So, okay, so that's number four. Oh no, five. Okay, I got five of them. Huh, well then, my shampoo is spilled in there. So the next thing that I got is this curry and it's like a hard bristle tooth curry by the brand Tough One. So this is what it looks like and it's like covered in shampoo. So I got this rag, so maybe we can clean some stuff as we go really quick. So then I just got this other rubber curry. I don't really use these often. I don't really even know why I technically bought it because I have my favorite like magic miracle brush, whatever you call it. Um, but I just got one just because good old rubber curry never hurt. So got one of these. I tried to get all blue. Um, oh my gosh, this is not good. This is my new brushes. <gasps> oh no. Oh my gosh. Okay, well these are my new brushes that I got. One is hard bristle and one is soft bristle. I'm just gonna actually throw it in this box so it doesn't keep getting saturated. Next thing that I got are these. I've never used these either, but it's called Herbal Horse Flower Repellent Face and Body Wipe. So I really like these. Just again, like I'm super big on the, you know, flower repellent. So we can spray them with fly spray, put the swat, which is the ointment. And then we can also use these little face wipes just to get all over their face and areas that are harder to get with the spray. So we got these wipes. There's not too much left in here. 
I think there's four things. Next thing I got is sand clear. So basically, I will read on the box. This is commonly used during conditions of colic caused by sand and other materials. Supports removal of sand and dirt. Supports gut health and helps maintain a healthy digestive tract. So in here in Florida, and I don't know if anywhere else, but a lot of our pastures will dry up because we get so dry in certain times. And then if you're feeding your horses on the ground or anything like that, it's always just a good preventative to do the sand clear. It just helps, like I read, clear their gut of any sand. So we got that. Now I think this is like the last grooming thing besides obviously the shampoo that's playing in there is this magic cushion by Hoof Flex. And this is just a hoof packing. We use a bunch of different drawing salves and hoof packs and stuff like that. I just heard really good things about this one. So I wanted to get this one. So I got this one. And then we have um, electrolytes already, but you can never go wrong with getting more electrolytes. This haul has gone downhill now. Just cleaning as I'm going, but um, I've got these Apple electrolytes. I do have another brand of electrolytes, but I actually really like this brand. I don't know why, I just do. So I got this and I got a huge tub of it. So this will last us a while, so it's all four horses. So we got the electrolytes. And then last but not least, as you guys can imagine, my gallon, which is no longer a gallon because it's somewhere leaking of shampoo. This makes me sad. Thanks FedEx. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here for now. So maybe we can find the leak. But I did get mane and tail shampoo in a gallon because I wanted a lot. But now I think half of the gallon is right here and actually in my tap room. So that's lovely. So <laughs> so anyways, you guys, that's pretty much it for this new tack supply haul. Everything that we're going to be putting in our new tack room. And we still do need a couple other things. But this is what I could just get on this haul. So there will probably be more. But you guys, don't forget, if you guys need any of these products or any other products for your horse, make sure you go to coralshop.com and use my link that's right here on the screen and will be in the description down below for 15% off your order. They have some really good stuff and I seriously will continue shopping at this store because I didn't even know about it honestly before they reached out to me and I'm so glad that I found it because they have super great brands, super good prices. So I'm really happy about it and I hope you guys use it because it's been really good to me. So anyways, and don't forget to enter their giveaway and that's also gonna be in the description down below. If you guys like today's tack haul and are super excited to see us put it in the tack room, make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you have a chance to do my next post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to, all right you guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.